the print of long-standing exclusion of this community has remained in the unconscious of people, going back for centuries. In a marginalized way of life, discrimination is there. Anti-Gypsyism, as we call it, anti-Romaism, if you wish, to create an enemy, having this enemy as a scapegoat for all the problems which exist, became an everyday phenomenon. I was very much involved with the development questions. For me, the Roma world, the local third world. My motivation was simply to contribute to a betterment of this economic situation, which will allow for a higher consciousness, citizen consciousness. Funds were offered in forms of repayable loans to the local community. We never determined what sort of projects we will finance. We made it dependent on what they decided or wanted to do. If you want to better your, your income, what do you think is the way to do it? Because I am not living there, I can't tell you what the way to do it. It was a empowerment because they empowered themselves, and we were the partners of this empowerment. When I went to this ceremony, there was a Roma who worked with us, and I invited him to come with me to the Swedish parliament. I had to read my speech. I'm going back to my seat and he's sit sitting next to me and he grabs my arm and says, do you realize that we, you got it because of us? I was really touched by, by, by this. This is a question of dignity and we undoubtedly uh, contributed to the betterment of their livelihood. But in my view, I don't think we were good. I think we were solidarious, which is not the same thing. And this made our success.